Hi, this is Ryan Lawler from TechCrunch TV. I'm here at the Hackcelerator Demo Day. Hackcelerator is a China-based hardware accelerator, which is based in Shenzhen. Um, they do everything, taking people from product ideas to prototyping to actually making real units um, through a three-month cycle. Today, we took a look at a lot of products. Um, you can see a lot of excitement behind me. Um, everything from baby incubators that allow you know, premature babies to feel closer to their parents um, to purses that will help choose your phone. So we're going to take a look at some of the more interesting startups that we've got here and uh, what they built. So I'm here with Liz from Everpurse. Uh, you have like some weird mix of fashion and technology. Like, yes. Tell me how, how it works, what you yeah. do. So this is Everpurse. It will recharge your iPhone mm -hmm. on the go. So you take your phone, you drop it into the Everpurse pocket, mm -hmm. and it instantly begins to charge. It'll recharge an iPhone twice. Okay. So all day long, you never have to worry about running out of battery. Okay. At night, you take your Everpurse, and you drop it on this charging mat, and it will wirelessly recharge your purse. Then in the morning, you pick it up, and you're good to go. That's cool. So you have, uh, so are you selling the purses yourself? Yes, right now we're selling them at everpurse.com. Okay. We are in one other retail location with one of our design partners. Okay. Uh, but we're looking to roll out new retail locations next year. Okay, and what makes it work? You've got like a little chip inside that... Uh... So we have a battery system here integrated inside the purse. Okay. Which is completely hidden behind the lining. Okay. And then there's a receiver in here that uses Qi technology, which is wireless technology. It's mm -hmm. open source. Um, it's kind of the worldwide standard. It's what the HTC One uses. Um, it's what Nexus Four uses. So you take your purse, and when you drop it on here, there is a transmitter in here. Mm -hmm. It's transmitting energy, okay. and then it gets picked up by the receiver, converted into energy. The battery can hold and then transmit to the phone. Okay. So you're also selling this yourself, but you want to make it available to other people to to build their own fashion accessories, right? Exactly. So at the end of the day, we think that every purse should be an ever purse. Mm -hmm. So um, our long-term plan is to provide the technology to design partners that can integrate into their bags mm -hmm. and provide to their customers. So ultimately, I would love if all of our uh, our customers could walk into their favorite brand mm -hmm. and be able to choose between an ever purse or not an ever purse, depending okay. on what they want. So we're already talking with some design partners, so hopefully you'll be seeing that technology coming in their bags in 2014. Okay, in the meantime though, how much do uh, ever purses cost? They range between 189 and 329 depending on whether you're getting fabric or leather or one of our textured leathers. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Sounds really cool. We'll have an ever purse wallet in the spring next year. Okay. So uh, for those that are looking for something a little bit smaller, a little bit more versatile, um, they'll be available for them. Okay, cool. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Thanks. All right, so we're here with Camilo Anadolon of Baby B. Um, and you have this really cool sort of two-part uh, tool for premature babies and their parents. Uh, just explain sort of what you have here, what these are about. Okay. Uh, actually, there is three components of the baby okay, system. Three components. <laughs> no worries. Uh, what we do is bring the experience mm -hmm. of being in the, the mother chest mm -hmm. inside of the creator machine for the preterm baby to perceive it. Mm -hmm. How we do this? We put this mattress mm -hmm. inside of the creator machine. Mm -hmm. and this mattress. You can touch it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. You can touch it. You can feel that it's very like, flesh. Right, right, right. And it has some inner bladders that allow us to pump air inside. Mm -hmm. What we pump is the signal that comes directly from the mother. What we do mm -hmm. is take this little device over here, mm -hmm. which we call the turtle, mm -hmm. and we give it to the mother, so mm -hmm. the mother can hold it like a baby. Okay. So this device collects the heartbeat, mm -hmm. the breathing pattern, mm -hmm. and the voice of the mother, mm -hmm. and transmit it via wireless communication to the cradle. Right. And this is the device that actually translates that information into pneumatic actuation. Okay. This pneumatic actuation, actuation then is sent into the mattress, and mm -hmm. the mattress allows the baby to perceive that pneumatic actuation as, a, as the stimuli of the mother okay. in real time. And so the idea is that by doing this, uh, the baby gets you know more of a, a feel for things, and then as a result, um, sort of develops more quickly. Is that? Yeah. What is 
what is the, the goal of this uh, yeah, device? Yeah, what's the goal? Is that the, the baby and the mother mm -hmm. stay in touch all the all of the, the, the process of all of the process of the birth. The thing is when you cut the relationship just after the birth, mm -hmm. there is huge impact in the relationship between the mother and the baby. Mm -hmm. But not only in the soft kind of emotional way, mm -hmm. but in the physiological way, the baby that is with his mother is able to overcome the birth trauma even 50% faster. Okay. So what we are trying is to bridge that gap in which the baby and the mother cannot be together because the baby has to be taken care instead of an incubator machine. Okay, excellent. And you would sell this to, um, to hospitals? Or? Yeah. yeah. Our business is directly with the hospital. Mm -hmm. we, pro we, we provide this device to the hospital so they, so they give it as a service for the community. Okay, excellent. And how much does it cost? Or will it cost? Well, it still may change a little bit, mm -hmm. but the main goal is not how much it costs, it's how much it means for the family. Mm -hmm. It's really expensive having a, a premature baby. This device will cost for the family as well as for the hospital no more than the 1% of an overall treatment cost of a premature baby. Okay, excellent. Well, thanks for uh, showing it off to us. Thank you. So I'm here with Howard Hunt from uh -huh. the Dust Cloud. Yes. Um, you have this cool little urban gaming thing going on with these. With, did, you, did you just shoot me? What, no, you just you just dusted me. It's oh, not no. shooting. Okay. It's okay. it's dusting. It's dusting. Okay. Yes. So tell me a little bit about um, sort of what these guys are and what the uh, the game is. Okay. All about. This is a Duster 2.0. It's basically a uh, a gaming module that lets you play um, safe, mobile, first-person shooter games mm -hmm. on the street, pretty much like laser tag. Um, all of the technology is inside the duster, and so what happens is, if I'm looking at Ryan, Ryan, if you hold your duster up, mm -hmm. if I press before Ryan presses, oh. I shoot the lights out of his duster, but I also, what it means is, I take him out of all of the iPhone apps, so mm -hmm. you are essentially... I'm essentially dead. Yeah. Okay. Ex except the term is you're essentially dusted. Oh, okay. But what happens is if we then get up on the dust cloud, if we get up on the dust cloud, what we would find would be in my profile on the dust cloud, I would have a, a dossier mm -hmm. and, and I would capture your mini dossier mm -hmm. and then you would be one of the people that I have dusted. Okay. So the thing that happens with the dust cloud is you have an automatic record mm -hmm. of your gameplay. So every alliance that you form or every enemy agent that you have dusted um, you have an automatic record of this. So where are you in terms of actually making these available for users and, and getting real games going? Okay, um, we've just come back from China. Mm -hmm. We are ready to manufacture. Our goal is 10,000 units next year. Okay. We'll do an Indiegogo campaign and launch it on Monday. Mm -hmm. So that will be Indiegogo, enter the dust cloud. Okay. Um, and so what we are wanting to do is we're wanting to capture an audience. We are based in Berlin in mm -hmm. Germany. Um, we have had a number of games in Berlin that have been quite successful, but our plan is to try and get a lot of users all in the one place mm -hmm. and play. Our target audience actually is organizations like Runway, where you have a whole lot of tech people in the one place. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is the goal that we have. Okay. Um, but the dusters themselves are pretty much ready to go. Okay. We, you know. And how much do these cost? If we do them um, on Indiegogo, we'll have an early bird special where you can pick one of these up for uh, $55. Mm -hmm. Um, you can get two for 99, okay. and then that way you can actually play. Mm -hmm. But it gives you this, it gives you an app you get to upload onto the Dust Cloud. Mm -hmm. You can become part of our community, and one of the things that we can do is we can curate games specifically for you. Okay, excellent. Um, and one of the other uh, interesting things is you're selling the, the bullets, yes. right? Uh -huh. And they're, what are they called? These are called specs. So like a speck of dust. Um, every time you squeeze off a shot, it will cost you 10 cents. Okay. Now, if I shoot you, mm -hmm. I've just taken out 60 cents from your duster. So there oh, is wow. a cost involved. And mm -hmm. so what this means is you're not running around squeezing off shots. You're conserving the way that you would do if, I guess, you were playing this in the real world. Okay. Um, but this is how we will intend to monetize it. The units themselves will become cheaper and cheaper as mm -hmm. our manufacturing becomes better. But yeah, the way that we do it is we sell specs online and you, you actually upload them through your cell phone. Okay, cool. I look forward to uh, trying it out and playing it. Yeah, great. Excellent. All right.